Hello and welcome back. We now discuss an example from interest and annuity. The question is if the difference between simple and compound interest is rupees 11 at the rate of 10% per annum for 2 years then find the sum. So we have to find the sum which indicates we have to find the principal over here. And on this principle, we get simple interest and compound interest, and the difference is rupees 11. So, the difference between the compound and simple interest, since it is a duration of two years, so CI will be greater than SI, and this difference is given as rupees 11. The rate of interest is given as 10% per annum, so R is. 10% per annum and the duration here is 2 years. So n is equal to 2 years. Now we apply the formula for simple and compound interest simultaneously. So we could write this as Ci minus Si is equal to P times 1 plus R by 100 raised to n minus 1. Now this is the formula for compound interest. Minus PNR upon 100. Now this is the formula for simple interest. Now if you observe in both the formulae, we could take P as a common factor. So we obtain CI minus SI is equal to P times, now taking P as a common factor, so we have 1 plus r by 100 raised to n minus 1 minus. Now we have taken p common. So we are left with n into r by 100. Now we just substitute all these values and see what we obtain. And the difference here is rupees 11. So... 11 is equal to P into 1 plus the rate of interest is 10%. So we write that as 10 by 100. Duration is 2 years minus 1 minus N is 2. R is 10%. So 10 by 100. Now let us simplify and see what we get. So we have 11 is equal to P into, we could cancel this 0, so 1 by 10 is 0.1 plus 1. So that gives a total of 1.1 squared minus 1 minus. Now we could cancel a 0 over here and 2 by 10 is 0 0.2. So let us simplify further. We have 11 is equal to P into, now the square value is 1.21. Minus 1 minus 0 0.2. So if we perform the subtraction, let's do the subtraction. So we have 1.21 minus 1 minus 0 0.2. That gives us 0 0.01. So we could write. 11 is equal to P into, now this could be written as 1 upon 100. If you simply cross multiply, we get P is equal to, now 11 into 100, that's 1100. So we could say the principal amount is 1100. So let's see the options. So the option is B. So the answer to this question is option. B.